Thank you to the Girl Scout Troop 45722 and Brownie Troop 45150. And also thank you to the leader of both troops, uh, Natasha Palandri. Uh, before we get started, I, uh, I'd like to recognize uh, the various elected leaders and special guests in the room today and ask that you hold your applause until uh, I've gone through all of the names. But today we have Oregon State Senator, Senate District 23, Michael Denbro. State, <laughs> State Representative of House District 46, Alyssa Kenny Geyer, who will also be our moderator today. Representing Multnomah County Chair, Deborah Kafori, is her policy advisor and community liaison, Aaron Ridings. Multnomah County District 3 Commissioner, Judy Shipwreck. Multnomah County District 2 Commissioner Loretta Smith, Multnomah County District Attorney uh, Rod Underhill, uh, Multnomah County Auditor Steve Marsh, Woodville City Councilor Scott Harden, and Oregon Department of Veterans Affairs Director Cameron Smith. Please give them all a round welcome of applause. We will also be taking a moment later in our program to honor Dario Rascio, a World War II Navy pilot who is with us here today. Now, I'd like to introduce uh, Jessica Howard, the president of the Southeast Campus of Portland Community College, who would also like to say a few words. Jessica. Thank you so much, Dr. Brown. It is such a great pleasure to have you all here. As Dr. Brown often says, we put the community in our middle name, Portland Community College, and we are um, the kind of place that loves to have big community gatherings and to be a, a focal point for community conversation. So thank you all for being here. Really briefly, I just uh, hope that you notice how different this campus looks from the way it looked about a year and a half ago. In that time, we've moved uh, from being a two-building center to being a five-building campus. We're the fastest-growing campus of Portland Community College, and it's, it's a great uh, privilege to say that because we are, of course, here in southeast Portland, a historically underserved area of our city, and to be here, to be committed and dedicated to serving this area is a great thing. So thank you all for helping us get to where we are and for being a presence here. And now it is my great pleasure to introduce and welcome State Representative of House District 46, Alyssa Kenny Geyer, who will go over the format for the town hall and introduce Senator Ron Wyden. Thank you. Um, welcome everyone here. I want to add one particular welcome also to my colleague Barbara Smith Warner, who represents House District 45 just to the north of here. Um, she came in and uh, President Jeremy Brown didn't see her come in at the back here, but um, I just want to say welcome not only to the PCC campus, but also to the heart of House District 46, which I'm privileged to represent. You are also represented by Michael Dembro, who's been introduced. He is the, the state senator for this district, and we are all really honored to have PCC Southeast Campus in the heart of our district. We thank you to the voters who approved the bond that's allowing this campus to uh, double in size in its facilities and also go from about 10,000 students to about 19,000. So this is really at the heart of workforce development, lifelong learning, entrepreneurial, uh, business startups. So we're really proud to have the campus here. Thank you, um, PCC College President um, Brown and Southeast Campus President Howard. And um, now I want to get on to the business of the day, and that is to welcome our esteemed senator um, to hold the town hall here. Thank you for holding it here. This is one of seven that he's doing, seven town halls across the state in just four days. And that's totally amazing to someone like me who does maybe seven town halls a year. For you to do this in four days and to continue your commitment that you've had for almost 20 years of doing a town hall in every single one of Oregon's 36 counties every single year, which given that you've been on the job for almost 20 years, that brings us to approximately 700 town halls. So thank you for being willing to listen to Oregonians. I think 
Ron is very familiar to many of you. Besides being a senator, you may know that his home is in Portland. Um, he was uh, became senator in 2006 in a special election and has won at least twice since then. Um, he is 96. Did I say 2006? 1996. Um, and is known to be a, a workhorse, a policy wonk, and um, having a principle of bipartisanship, which will be particularly important going forward in our new Senate that will be controlled by the Republicans. He has been chair of the Finance Committee, chair of the Joint Committee on Taxation, the ranking Democrat on Energy and Natural Resources, and also serves on the Budget Committee and the Select Committee on Intelligence. Some of the issues that he's concentrated on are the responsible use of our natural resources, for instance, in the Klamath Basin, and I'm hoping he'll continue to, to fight for that. Fighting tax havens, ending warrantless surveillance, fighting unfair trade practices to bring jobs back to Oregon. I know there's a lot of people in the crowd that are concerned. Lambasting, the use of torture. Thank you for your strong words on that. And an issue very near and dear to my heart, fighting for health care for vulnerable populations, particularly for children and seniors. Um, so Ron is married to Nancy Wyden, got married in 2005. They have five children, and we are really honored that you call Portland your, your home base, and I uh, want to thank you for your leadership and support. Thank you. Please help me welcome Senator Ron We, cer we certainly should. Staff, why don't we see if we can get more folks in. How many of you have never been to one of our town meetings before? So we got a lot of newcomers. Well, the way it works is I usually start off talking for about half hour or 45 minutes or so. And people really, really like that. And they, they think I'm serious over there. Their face got, got all pale. No. I'm going to keep my opening remarks shorter than it will take the Ducks to score on Ohio State. All right? So just a couple of quick comments. First, this is part of the pledge that I made to Oregon back in 1996. What we said... Come on, man. I can't breathe. I 
We have our World War II veteran here today, Mr. Rascio, who I know everybody would like to honor today.